生气，我怕哎呦我。哎呦哎呦，哎呦，狗哥们儿，啊，这个，这个，这个 ，sorry， I'm sorry, 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 I'm Stay inside. Stay inside. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. You want me to kill you? Yeah? I'm going. I'm going. Come on, get get up. Stay inside. Before I kill you. Yeah? Are you are you mad? Jacob, 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 remember, remember that you promised. Remember that you promised God. You said you would love and cherish me. She come and carry your child because. I am innocent. I didn't do anything. I did not do anything. Please. Come on, get inside. You, you think I don't know you're carrying my child? I said, get inside. Get inside. Ah! 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 I will deal with you tonight. Jacob, please. Jacob, did what? Jacob did what? Yeah? Jacob did what? I'm begging you. Please. Jacob, please. Please. My wrist. Now you listen to me. I am going to kill you tonight if you don't start talking. Start talking now. Who is Michael? Oh, Michael, Michael is nobody to me now. I'm not having anything to do with Michael. He's always calling to check up on me. There's nothing. Oh, really? He's always calling to check up on you. He's always calling to check up on you. Now, how will you explain all those pictures he sent to you? Exposing his chest and looking all that sexy. He's calling to check up on you. If you don't start talking to me, if you don't start talking to me, I will kill you right here. <laughs> Everyone knows that I've never cheated on you, Michael. I've never cheated on you. <laughs> You're still keeping the truth away from me? I will kill you right here and right now and nobody will see your corpse. Right here and right now you will die in my house. understand anything as long as it makes you happy it's perfect for me uh, yeah dad you know what i have always known that the both of you will make a great impact in my company uh, of course <laughs> um winnie here did a very wonderful job yes i was just there beefing no for it <laughs> Without you, this wouldn't have been a success. Well, 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 well I, I give it to the both of you. You've done perfectly well. Um, you know what, Winnie? Yes, sir. From my personal accounts, I am making a transfer of two million naira to your account. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. And for you, Sam. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. No, I'm fine. I, your father wants to surprise you. No, 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 I'm fine. No, I'm okay. No way. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, congrats. Oh, 
things to do with me. Um, okay, Chief. Um, I have to... I have to go back to the office now. I have some bugs to things to do. Okay. Is that going that long, yeah? Alright. Say it more. Alright, bye. Yeah. That girl is a genius. Of course she is, Dad. You're looking at that. Oh! Mom, Dad. Yes, sir. You need to take rest. Let me go fresh now. Very long day. So your face. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, so. call me as soon as the food is ready. I will, son. You know I no, don't understand. Know. I don't understand. But your you make me. Your job money, job money. Please come in. Ah, good evening. Evening. You must be um, Mr. Jacob, Isabella's husband. Yes. Ah. And um, how may I help you? My name is Michael. Michael Obasi. Okay, okay. Please do sit down. Thank you. So, Mr. Michael, how may I help you? Um, well, due to your wife's condition, we approved that she worked from home, but it looks like she skipped work. Is she in? Um, Mr. Michael. I know you're my wife's colleague. So tell me, what exactly do you want? Okay, thank you for your time. Well, there was this document she was supposed to attend to, and she promised to attend to it before seven this morning. It's evening, and she is offline, and we can't even reach her on the phone. I hope everything is all right. As you can see, she is not at home. So I will tell her that you came. Oh, that's all right. Well, please do tell her that I sent more modeling pictures on her phone. I'm glad she likes the ones that I sent previously. Oh, oh do have a good day. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jacob. Oh, okay, Mr. Michael. Thank you for your time. It's all right. It's all right. I don't. What have my anger led me to? I can't even find my wife. I don't even know what happened to her that night. Here, here he is, talking about modeling pictures. That means I'm accusing this woman wrongly. What will I tell the police or, or our friends? I... Isabella, please, wherever you are, please come back. Please, please, I'm down on my knees. Please come back, Isabella. Hi. Winnie, what is your problem? I mean, what is your problem in that company? I don't understand. How can you say you don't need money? Who doesn't need money? What do you want? A G-Wagon for thanks for working oil and gas comp- What? 
What do you want? I want to be part of Chief Johnson's family. Listen, I don't even mind getting married to one of its sons, Leo or Fred. That's all I want. You are so unbelievable. At least I said my mind. Listen, if I can get married into Chief Jones's family, all my life problems are solved, including that of my fourth generation. Girl, these people are getting money. I mean, money. Don't worry, you understand. Me. Listen, darling, don't even say this to the hearing of Jerry, your boyfriend. Who's that? You know he was king you alive. Sorry? Focus on what is focused on you. Come here. Take your eyes from what doesn't belong to you before you put yourself into trouble. Yeah. Okay. It's bad for kissing for him, right? Don't worry. He's very serious. He's busy doing lover boy. Who has time for that? Is it love how it's no. What's wrong with you? Don't worry, he will soon realize that we're not on the same level, okay? Don't stress yourself. Jerry. Yes, he will soon realize that. <sighs> okay. Keith, I am not saying she's, she is not a dedicated secretary to you. But what I am trying to say here is that too much of accolades makes things sideways. <laughs> Woman, money is good. And when someone is good on her job, you appreciate her. You call it a college or whatever. Women will always get something from me. I wish our son Fred will understand why I paid the both of them for the business. Chief Ortega. <laughs> I have defeated Chief Ortega. My heart can now rest. <laughs> yes. I don't just want assume. I don't want assume. Well, for you, go ahead. Hmm. My son will exercise his freedom to decide who he likes. And this one we're talking about very different genders. Anyway, we know that Fred is in a serious relationship with a pretty woman from South Africa. And both of them have done something outrageous for the relationship to be saved. Well, woman, I don't know what you are trying to say. All I know is that my reputation must not go down. I mean, women is how they are pushing things up for us. Whatever it takes to keep her in the family business, that I must do. Case close. Okay, Alpha. What happened? Um, you sounded so odd. Jerry. And why are you drinking? Jerry. Jerry, I am about to die. What do, what do you mean by you're about to die? What happened? And where is your wife? Wait, who even wants you dead? Jerry, I. I don't know how to say this. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, my guy, where's your wife? Huh? Jerry, I don't know. I don't know where my wife is. Jerry, what, what, what do you mean, you, you don't know where your eight months pregnant wife is? What, what, what? Are you, are you normal? Huh? What are you saying? Wait, Jacob. Don't tell me you beat her again. And this time she decided to punish you by running away. 
Isabella wouldn't have run away that fateful night. Why? Huh? Why do you keep beating your pregnant wife? Jacob, I have begged you times with that number. Stop beating her. But you don't want to listen. Huh? Oh, God. So, have you, um, at least reported to the police about this? Jerry, I am so scared. I am very scared. I don't even understand the, the blood stain at the gate that fateful night. Oh God. I don't, I don't, I don't want to assume fearful things. But you should have at least no, go to the police to make an entry. Or take the nearby hospitals. Someone might decide to pick her up and give her a, a bed rest. Jerry, I have checked all the hospitals I know. Even the one I registered her with. But none of them accepted to have my wife in their care. Honestly, I, I don't know. But I keep checking every day. Hey, God. Jerry, I am in a deep mess. Hey! <sighs> Jacob. Jacob, you don't kill me. I'm so, um, 
Have you at least called her friends or her family? Eh? She might decide to want to any of them. Since you have decided to turn her to a punching bag, Jacob. Eh? Since you have started seeing your wife as an animal. Eh? None of them agreed to have had anything from her. I, I, even her friend, uh, Fida. You know that one is a radical. I am very scared of her. I don't know, and she said she have not had anything from her as well. Jacob. Jerry, I am, I am doomed. Jacob. Jacob. Hey. Jacob, you need to pray. Jacob, you need to pray because this is serious. Jacob, this is not what you will be telling the police. By the time they realize that you are beating your eighth most pregnant wife, Jacob. Eighth most pregnant wife. Jacob, you need help. Um, sir, this, um, this file is one heck of a thousand troubles and I really don't know how to go about it. From TJ on the last meeting? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Just go out it. Wow. That's really kind of you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Ready? Yes, sir. What about dinner tonight? Yeah, why not? Um, when she comes back, let her know that I came around to check up on her, okay? I will. Alright, um, good night. Good night. Drive safe, okay? I will. Oh. Thank you. Okay. This guy is not happy. Winnie. I hope you like this place. Sure. Mm. Winnie. Yes. I want to personally appreciate you for your hard work and obedience in the company. Okay. You see, my father will be retiring very soon as the CEO, and my brother will be coming into the country to take over. So. I want you to continue working with the management in the same manner you worked with my father. Oh, that's not a problem. Thank you very much. <laughs> At all. Um, is, that, is that why we're here? Yes, that's why we're here. To appreciate you. Oh, to talk about this. Uh, yes. Uh, wow. Well, um, I think. Well, it, it's <laughs> it, it's cool. <laughs> it, it's cool to talk about official matters all the time. You're right. Yeah. So, shall we? Sure. <laughs> Baby girl. 
<laughs> so how was your date? What's that? <laughs> Look at that indeed. Huh? Is that it? <laughs> what happened? Rita, it was as if. Oh God. This guy just. He was talking about his father's retirement, how his elder brother is going to come back to take over. You know, like. I've heard this thing more than a million times now. Sweetheart, you need to calm down with these people. Come on! Focus on your job. Is that too difficult for you to do? Anyway, Jerry was here a few hours ago. Did you tell him where I went to? Am I mad? But guy looks so worried. I think you need to go see him. Huh? I beg. Rita, I beg, I beg. I just go to beg you. You see me right now, I have a lot on my head. And Jerry is the least. Did you cook? I don't understand you. You're coming back from a dinner at him. Rita, I, I told you that he's like, I practically went to another board meeting. So I lost my appetite. What am I? Every time I'm in the office, I'm talking about I know that. Calm down. It's fine. Do you have food? Calm down, there's food. Good. Go help yourself. Thank you. There you Yes. Isabella is missing. Jacob's wife? Yeah. She, she's she been missing for days now. For days? How? How did that happen? I guess um, she had a little altercation with Jacob. Then she ran out of the house. Oh, the strange part of this story is that Jacob said he saw blood in front of the building. But he couldn't see Isabella or anybody. This is strange. Has he reported to the police? That dude is too scared to even involve the appropriate authorities. That's my problem with him. He can't be scared. This is his wife missing. This is serious something, not something to be scared. I just... Well, I hope he finds her. Oh. Good day. Good day. Um, may I come in? Sure. Thank you. The company is really worried about your wife. Sit down, sit down. We want to know her whereabouts. My wife traveled to her village. She went to see her grandmother. And probably she might deliver them. Um, Mr. Michael, I am so sorry if my wife has been absent from your company's Zoom meetings. Um, is there a contact to reach her? Perhaps to call and know how she is doing? Sure. Just give me a minute, okay? All right. Zero eight zero three five double four six one eight four. All right, um, thank you for your time once again. It's fine, Mr. Michael. Thank you. I will see you around, okay?
so that they've approved the, the proposal. We are set to partner with them on the project. Good. Very good. This is a good news. Yeah. Um, so, Chief, should we go ahead and hope this is your retirement? No. Not now. Thank you. Take my first call. Do not come back first. Thank you, I'm fine. Is very hard. But don't worry about it. What it requires now is enough forest. At least we can start from there. And please, adequate decorum is so that we have this point. So that they can have enough rest and sleep enough. I'll take my leave now. Please, make sure he takes his trucks. That. I'll be coming from time to time to check on him. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Soon. Ah, mother. You have nothing to worry about. That will be fine. Nothing will happen to me. I have to make the first man to the office. Please take care of yourself. I'll take care of that. Okay. I will. <laughs> you be careful. You too, Mom. I'll see you when I go.
survived you. He's getting better. I don't know. It's all right. Thank you so much. Um, I can, I can help you. I can help you with the, the files if you're not concentrating. Beautiful in your outfit. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And uh, uh, please dress properly when coming to my office next time. I'm sorry, sir. You're welcome. Anyways, I'll handle the files. Okay. I'll take care of them. Thanks for your concern. Alright. I'll be in my office. Alright. And he said, oh, you look good in your dress. But Winnie, don't dress like this to my office again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. Oh, um, no. Uh, Winnie, you know what? Just pause this idea and trick of yours. It's not working. Focus on your relationship with Jerry. Pause it out. <laughs> Mr. Jacob, the number you gave is not connecting. According to the service provider, it has not been used for some time now. Oh, I, I am sorry. Maybe I gave you her old contact. I'm sorry about that though. Well, I shall be going to the village tomorrow. Tomorrow morning to be precise. Then I will tell her that you have been coming. All right then, please um, extend my greetings. We will be expecting her safe delivery. All right, Mr. Michael, she will hear your greetings. Okay then, I beg to take my leave now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guy, 
don't understand you. What game are you playing? Say, Jerry, I don't know what to say or do right now. And evil thoughts keep flooding my head. Guy, if I may advise you, I will tell you to calm down and involve the police. Jacob, the police will help you and find your wife. And stop all this your dirty game that you play. Because you're making it worse. Hi. for my brother that I want to see him. It's okay. I accept. But you're not going to scare me with you inviting your brother over here. Thank you. We may go. Thank you. Yes, son. Chief, business is going fine. I want my son to rest. And the doctor said that you should rest too. Don't worry. Are you okay? Excuse me. Come. Come. Sit down. Come. Don't mind your mother. She's an illiterate. And she doesn't know anything about business. Dad. Yes. Well, I'm happy you are coping with the business. Thank you, Dad. One more thing, son. Okay. Whatever you're doing, make sure you carry the family business on your shoulder. I came to check up on you. I am exhausted and need to retire to bed. You want to go and meet your mother, right? You hate taking advice from me. What do you want, Dad? Make her to stay permanent with the company. Who? When you're my secretary. Of course, she's, she's going nowhere. She's there to stay. I mean, she, she, has, she has been there and... Uh, well, you won't, you won't know what I'm talking about now. You may come. I want to take my sleep. Good night. Good night, son. Yes, my husband. And he wants to see me immediately. With immediate effect. He said you should come immediately. As a matter of fact, if you can, with me, you'll be happy. Mm. Yeah. Mama. Um, what if I come first thing tomorrow morning? Eh? Tell him I will come first thing tomorrow morning. Oh? Okay. I think he, he can wait. I can't wait, yeah. Oh, Maka. Mm. Oh, Maka. Mm. Um, I think I should be on my way now. Immediately. Immediately. He said I should come back immediately, if possible, with yourself. Hey. <laughs> immediately, in God, <laughs> Come immediately. Go immediately. You know your brother. You know your brother. That's how he does. It's all right. I will be there first thing tomorrow morning. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I will deliver your message to him. Thank you. This is the first life in, in a while. Bye-bye. Uh, well, thank you so much. Thank you, my husband. Thank you.
Yes, that was why I called you to inform you that uh, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll be traveling to see him. And you said Mr. Johnson is sick? Ha! That was uh, what the wife told me. And you know, he's my only brother. I have to go and see him. I can't stay here and be uh, waiting for any other person to, to tell me what to do. First thing in the morning, anyhow, whatever means, I am there. Huh? All right, then. You have to go see him. Definitely. You really have to. Definitely. Oh. He is the only brother I have, oh, and he doesn't joke with me. Right from our childhood days. Eh? You know, he, he went to school. Mm. That's why he has money. But me, during our school days, yeah. I had a black. Hey, there is this uh, lad, he said he wants to help me and develop. So I maybe he's even one of the things. <laughs> Dad is very sick. You have to come back. I am serious, Leo. No excuses this time. Yes? He's worried about you. The more reason you have to make yourself available. It's all right. Bye. Um, officer, according to my friend here, he had a little misunderstanding with his wife. You know, husband and wife mm -hmm. had a misunderstanding. So, which resulted to the wife leaving the house. Okay. A few minutes later, he, my friend, got out from the house, but discovered um, his wife was nowhere to be found. Well, it's painful or the worrisome thing about this whole grammar is that he said that he saw blood stain in front of his house but he couldn't find his wife so officer i think this is a worrisome situation i mean the the blood and the disappearance of the wife hmm. sorry when exactly did this incident happen Last week at about 9 p.m. Yeah. Last week? I don't get you. That's a week already. Yes, officer. So what stopped you from reporting to the police station? Um, officer, the, the thing there is that he felt that the wife ran to one of her friend's house here in the city. Oh. But um, that didn't happen because when we accosted them, they, they said, They've never seen her or spoken to her since. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Um, we'll take it up from here. Okay. And please, uh, Mr. Jacob, right? Yeah, officer. Um, please, you'll take me to see her friends so that I can start the investigation proper. Officer, that is not a problem. If possible, right away. If you, yeah, we can. I don't know. Come on. You sent for me. Yes, um. Make sure that door is locked. Which is which I I am very sure now. Oh, oh good. Let me come. Nobody will come. Where is your yard better? Let's sit. I should sit down. Sit down, can. Yeah, it is now. Hey, I'm going there. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm going there. 
This food is very, very strong. I got net. I can't get an apple girl. If you're on top of this and uh, <laughs> you are doing a better press up. Ay, ay, ay! 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 I think at this age of yours, there are certain things you have dropped. Uh, all these uh, jokes all the time. Everything is not joke. Uh, I got near. To be frank, I need this, uh, this is your type, this type of food in the village. Uh, the one I have in the village. When I was you. I'm always having with pain, I'm telling you. Eh? What with this? Hi! <laughs> this is called Action Speaks Louder Than Words. Hi! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you sent for me. That is true. Now you, you are back to your senses. Yes, I sent for you. Kano, I am going. Eh? Going was. Going to where? <sighs> you are here with me. My only brother going to where? Bah! Hey, mama. I don't say it again. You are not going anywhere. You know, Eba. Can, can, no. Eh? Do you still remember those days we were boys and the scouts? I got me idea of people leave. You do remember this? those days when we were scouts. <laughs> Do you remember that? That catapult I was using that time that I got lost. It was um this um Ekene. Uh, Ekene was the one that stole it. <laughs> Ekene stole it that time. Ah! Do you remember that time we went for that camp uh, making hill, uh, making hill uh, that I fell from the tree? I'm gonna check my water. I broke my leg, but I was trying to do strong person, strong person as a scout boy. Ah, those days, we, I, I wish one can just go back to when we were small. <laughs> Scout, Ataka. Hey, it was a very really beautiful experience. Hmm? You still remember the secret? 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 Oh, <laughs> I do. I remember. I remember the secret. Remind me the secret. I go near. I say I remember the secret. I Remind me the secrets again, Kano. Okay, I should tell you. Um, um, you don't need to forget such. I need to forget that is rape. rape. You raped your wife, your present wife today, when she was a young girl. But it turned out that today she's your wife now. Has anybody heard about that? Oh. That I raped my wife with a mask on my face? From me or from you? If it's from me, nobody. Eh? But it is not a crime, it's not something bad. That you raped your wife, somebody, and later she became your wife. It is not bad because to me, it was that uh, love that made you to, to rape her. Uh, if it's, uh, just to climb her. To have the first experience, it was introduction. Today now, two of you are enjoying the same, <laughs> the same look and do, and uh, both of you are married. It is a good thing. On this night, you feel anybody that says you say crime, that person is mad. That person is completely mad. But uh, I go there. Why are you taking us back to past memories? Why are you remembering them now? Cano. <laughs> Trust you more than my wife and children. Uh, there is something I want to tell you. But you have to first put your hand on your chest. I swear by our late parents that what I am about telling you, you keep it secret and do what I said. Okay, I got now. This is serious. Get out of eh? And uh, while I was coming, I left the bag of secret in the village. I didn't come with it. Are you sure I can do this? 
You are my only brother. I can do anything for you. I will take the secret here. Yeah. When I get home, I'll put it inside the bag and firm them out. Can you? Eh? You are an old man now. Now you have to do away with all this childish joke we used to know you with. This is serious. Eh? And I'm serious. Let me do what you ask me to do. Um, I swear by the name of our late parents, Onoche and uh, Urima, anything you tell me, I will confidently keep it a secret for you. Once I live here, I will carry it, put it in my bag of secrets, and turn them out. Nobody will hear it. What do you want? Good. Does this smart and brilliant girl in my company? Hey, Chalo. Chalo, Chalo. You like it, I mean, did you use your finger? You know you like finger. Come on, enough of all this joke. We are here for serious issue. Okay, she's pregnant for you. Or Dime, is she pregnant? Yes, even if you want, I can take her to the village. She will stay there and deliver. Nobody will know. Mother, eh? mother, mom, call. It's my son. Yeah, then one. Kano. Kano. Eh? How many times did I call you Kano? We're here for important issue. Mm. Very important. Um, she's very smart and brilliant. She's the pen and also the reliever. Can I want to make sure you make this happen? Make sure that one of my sons marry her. If Fred refuses to marry her, make sure you none do not refuse. No, and Sammy, you let me know the exact position of this girl. If she's pregnant, are you saying your children should marry her with the pregnancy to cover the secret? If she's not pregnant, how can you be telling me you want one of your children to marry her? Even you not the you of a son, whom you know very well and has a wife and children in abroad. How can you enforce a woman? I'm available if you want somebody to marry her. I can marry her. Can you? The exit of that girl in my company will jeopardize my company reputation. She's the pain and she's the reliever. Uh, you see, that girl is like a source of light page on this crew too. Exactly is the secret you want to confine in me. You are going nowhere. Hey, officers, this man has to be arrested. This man has to provide my best friend, Isabella. This man has the guts to call me on the phone asking me of Isabella's whereabouts. Your pregnant wife left your home at an ungodly hour. And you had the guts to call me, asking me of her whereabouts. Your pregnant wife, whom you're supposed to know of her every move. Jacob, you must be joking. And I'm going to show you my real color. Madam, please calm down. No, please, officers, do not tell me to calm down. Do not. You know, initially I thought he was joking. This man is a beast. Yes. And assault Isabella, anyhow! Jacob, do you remember what I told you the last time I came to your house? The last time you assaulted her. Do you remember? Do you? I'm sure you do. Now the time has come. Yes, it has come. I will show you my real self. Wait for myself and other lawyers. But then pray. 
pray you finally find her. Yes. Else, you know like what I'll do to you. Now, take this thing out of my house. I never want to see your ugly face again. Get out! Madam, please, calm down. Look, we're only here to ask a few questions, that's all. Okay? I understand the magnitude of what's going on here. But please, I beg of you, just a few questions and we're out, okay? I am a lawyer by profession. A brutal one for that matter. Now, take this beast out of my house, else I will charge you for conspiracy and intuition. Get out! Uh, that's fine. Uh, Get out! Mr. Jacob, shall we? Get out! Jacob! It's okay. Get out of this house! Leave my house! Leave my house! Of Have a nice day, ma'am. Please! Son, your uncle's visit to this house this time around does not tell well. There is something he wants you or your brother to do. I am still reading towards it. The picture is still not very clear in my head. He has to say it or your uncle will do it on his behalf. They can talk for hours. Your uncle and your father are inseparable when it gets to discussion. If that will make him feel better, Uncle Carlos should rather stay with us. No, he can't. Why? He handles your father's property in the village put the hotels and you know about it so he can't stay hello Winnie yeah we need to see and talk yeah well my, my mother is coming all the way from Abuja to come and see me and I need you to be here to cook for her yes what what do you mean by, by you don't have time? I'm talking about my mother here. You need to be here. You are my woman. You need to be here. You need to cook for her. See, hey, hey, Winnie. Don't listen. Don't make me angry, okay? If you, if you don't do that, who do, 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 am I the one that's supposed to cook for my mother? Huh? See, don't, don't, don't provoke me, please. Jerry, I said I would not be chance to come to your house. And I am not seeing your mother. What? See, see, Winnie, listen, listen, you don't need to yell, okay? <laughs> hello, hello? Hello, Winnie? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. So the person I call my girlfriend now has the mind to hang the call on me. <laughs> hey. Hey, Winnie. I'm going to call her again. As if I'm not your house help, I'm not your maid, you're not married to me. Your mother is come, your mother. Why is it my business now? Ah, I beg you. It's not that I will fire you. Yeah, I know you are jobless now. You have time to be calling people. If he's a rich man that has work to do, he will not be wasting time looking for a girl that will come and visit his mother in Jews. This nigga, stop calling me now. Stop calling me. Stop calling me. I said I cannot come to your house. What is it, Jerry? Switched off. 
Hey. <laughs> the number I just called now is now telling me not reachable. Wait, wait, does it mean that Winnie now placed her phone on flight mode? Winnie has the mind to switch off her phone on me. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I'm not gonna take this nonsense. I have to go to her house. <laughs> Of this house. Rita, can you hear? Can you, can you hear your friend? Rita, check this out. My mother, my own mother is coming to my house. And two days ago, I told her about this and we had an agreement that she's going to come to the house and make something for her to eat. We, 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 we agreed. Yes, we, we did. At least she can go in if she's not doing whatever she's doing. We agreed, but yet she is telling me nonsense. Who is telling you nonsense? Eh? Well, what has come over you? Eh? Well, what is wrong with you? Who is trying to foster our relationship? Why? Who you are whose relationship? I am fed up! Yes, Jeremy, I am fed up with you and this your so-called relationship. What is it? Winning! Enough! What? This is Jerry. What's wrong? Who is Jerry? No, Who no, is Jerry? No, Rita, allow her to talk. You know how to talk. Keep talking. Keep talking. No, no, no. You know how to talk. But I don't, I don't blame you. But let me tell you this. I am reuniting with my mother. And it's a thing of joy and happiness to me. So I will not allow you or anybody to ruin this for me. Jerry, oh, son, what's my business if you're reuniting with your mother? Winnie, really? huh? I was thinking that as you just enter, you just drag me, Winnie. Really? You must go and then I'll follow you to your house. Why are you telling me you want to reunite with your mother? I don't and blame. You're a prodigal son and you want to. How is that my business? I don't blame you. Yeah, go and reunite with your mother now. Is that my, my, my problem? Winnie, really? I don't blame you. I don't blame you too. Have a good day. You too, Jerry. Jerry. Peace. Jerry. Nonsense. Hey, hey, hey. What is wrong with you? Don't go there. The last time I checked, I did not invite you. I did not. Really? Yes. You bad. Yes, it's my ass, girl. Just leave it for me like that. But why will your brother want you to swear that any of his boys should get married to his secretary? Boys of nowadays do no longer fall to such ideas. They pick their wives themselves. Unlike the old days when you can pick up a girl from the village and send her to the city to meet a man she knows nothing about. Mazu, you are very, very correct. You're right. Mm. You see, there is this saying that goes like this. A dude does not jump out on the road on a broad daylight for nothing. It is either that dude is after something or something is after that dude. Yes. So why would he want any of his boys to get married to the secretary in the first place? <laughs> Mazuzo. Mm -mm. Want me to tell you? Yes. Mazo Zomba. It is for my ears only. This one is family. It's for the family. It's alright if you say so. You are welcome back home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, um, that. Uh, Why would 
told my own brother, Chief Johnson Agumwa, commit such a crime. Eh? It's an abominable act. Hmm? Killing a pregnant woman. Hi. Oh. Was very bad. Very, very bad. Eh? And now he wants me to keep it a secret. Hi. Will I not be part of this killing if I keep this secret? That no. I, I, that I can't be part of it. I'm just to keep this secret. Hi. How can I convince a Buddha Leo to marry Winnie? This same Winnie, this same Winnie. He committed this crime, but um, hey, what a lap, Okay, I have to speak with Fred, then I will talk to him. Let me see if I can convince him. I'll try Fred. Maybe he will succumb. After all, it's for the family. It's for the family. It's for the family. I will talk to friends. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. Killing a pregnant woman. Love cute. Marinado. Please, Chief, whatever discussion you had with your brother, can please let it not have any link to our boys. Our children should make decisions of their own. Please. You have collected uh, um, Fred from me. Now only want to call it Ebuka. No. Ebuka is my first son. He will do what I said. He is my first fruit. The strength of my youth. Yes. Please, Chief. This is not what I am saying here. It's not what I am saying. All I am saying is that whatever discussion you had with your younger brother, Kano, should not affect my boys in any way. For goodness sake, we should not allow our children to exercise their own rights in making their own decisions. Please. Because we both agreed to this. As long as it does not affect them in any way or us. I want to be left alone. Selfish desire. It's okay. Desperate I, I will excuse myself. Selfish desire. Desperate measure. The wickedness in the heart of men may prevail But tomorrow will come knocking someday The evil in the heart of men may prevail But tomorrow will come knocking I have this feeling that Isabella's husband had it
some skeleton in his cupboard. Could it be that he damaged her phone and restricted her from going out to work? That man looks violent to me. Isabella's sudden absence has made me lost a very good bidder. I feel like my career is gradually going down without her around. No, I must get to the root of this. I must do something. What you saw, you shall reap. Hi. Hi. I'm okay. I'm sure you'd be wondering what I'm doing here. Yeah. Well, I just came here to be of help to you. And again, I need you to be patient with me here. <sighs> Jerry, you know our boss is critically down, and it's affecting our emotionally. Just Give her some time. I'm pretty sure she will come around. Do I have a choice? Of course I will. Thank you. You're welcome. So, show me the way to the kitchen. Let me fix up something. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ready. <laughs> wow. This food is yummy. Thank you, ma'am. I like the taste of the food. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Son? Mommy. Mm -hmm. She's good. She's the real woman. <laughs> <coughs> what? Why are you both laughing? Um, no, no, no. You, you will not understand, okay? You, you will understand. <laughs> well? I just set my mind. And that's all. Young lady. What is that your name again? I'm Rita Williams. Rita Williams. Yes, ma'am. I think I like you. Ah, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uncle, I cannot drive all the way from the city for you to tell me this nonsense. Eh? Please, I am begging you in the name of God, don't ever call me again because of this. Don't! This is what your father wants. That was his last wish. Have you ever asked me my wish? Do you know my wish? This is my personal life we're talking about here. Fred, is a wish. Eh? I'm a match Puano. Wish. I'm telling you about your father's wish and you are here telling me about your own wish. Who, who, who say you, you, you? Who, why would you even have any wish? Look at this mobile. So you are standing here, opening, you are sitting down here, opening mouth for me. Look at this mobile that he, when they bring you into this house, you will see you teacher everywhere. No one on and you are here now telling me. Do you know how, how you messed my house up? Eh? 
because you are grown now. Let's, uncle, you can say whatever you want to say. It's none of my business. I have told you I will not have this conversation with you or any member of this family again. I am leaving. Where do you think you are going? Oh, you are walking out of me, eh? You are tired of me. You know he got to do. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that your father was up to something. Mother, what I don't understand is the reason my uncle is asking me to get married to Winnie. I never expected this from anyone. Not to talk of my own father instigating the whole thing. Son, I told you, your father is a very smart man. He wants to make his personal secretary a member of this family. He wants to make her a member of our company by relation. <sighs> See, son, I am not against you getting married to her or not. What concerns me here is anyone making a choice for you of who to marry or not. You should be able to make a choice by yourself, especially when it concerns the things of the heart and marriage. Really? Yeah. Good. Let him come back. Let him come back and meet your father. He needs to know about all of this. Maybe when he is back, your father will have a change of heart of, of all this that is happening because I don't understand anything of it. Let him come back. I'm expecting him sincerely. My son, Please take your drink and calm down. It will be okay, okay? It will be fine. I knew your father was up to something when he was busy telling you that I am an illiterate. You shouldn't mind me. You shouldn't listen to me. I knew he was up to something. But it's so good. Tomorrow will come knocking someday The evil in the heart of men may prevail But tomorrow will come knocking someday 